Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and this is just a whatever, like reading type whatever. <laughs> you know, whatever it's gonna be. Please like, 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 comment, share, subscribe, whatever. It's a whatever kind of moment, apparently, because I keep freaking saying it. But I just wanted to get on here because I was like being goofy, and <laughs> I got all my shit done for the day. I am working on personals, so. I'm getting that stuff taken care of too. And yes, the phone is ringing across the hall. It's not for me though, that sucks. Anyways, I was jamming out to older music. I was listening to Michael Jackson because um, I'm a dork and I love Michael Jackson and I just, you know, do all his moves like, yeah. You know, like whenever he goes, ah, and screams, I fucking love those, that part of every song because he does it in every song. But anyways, I was listening to Whitney Houston because I was going like, you know, back to when I was younger. Back to when you were singing with a hairbrush. You know what I mean? I wasn't really doing that, but I totally pretend all the time because I'm a dork. But anyways, the song, How Will I Know? <laughs> How will I know if he really loves me? You know, whatever. I can't sing. That's just me like pretending singing. I was belting it out. So hopefully no one heard me. Everyone's asleep anyways, or most people are. So I just thought it was funny because where the fuck is it? It's like, how will I know if he really loves me? I say a prayer with every heartbeat. I fall in love whenever we meet. I'm asking you what you know about these things. How will I know if he's thinking of me? I try the phone, but I'm too shy. I can't speak. Falling in love is so bittersweet. This love is strong. Why do I feel weak? So that could be going on in a situation. But I just thought it was funny because it's like I'm asking you what you know about these things. And I'm like, this song's about tarot. You know? Because it's like, read about my love life. I'm asking you. What is he thinking, feeling, whatever. <laughs> and I just started laughing. Because it's true, you know? We all want to know, don't we? Even when we know, we don't think we know. Because we don't have the concrete evidence. So it's like, we need to know, you know? <laughs> I don't know, it just made me think of that. So I was like, okay. I'm going to do a quick reading. My shit's never quick, just saying. But we'll see. Yeah, someone's shit's never fucking quick. Snail's pace. Slow progress. Reevaluate, maybe. Oh, and spotlight. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. One of you is being recognized. One of you could have options. One of you could be in the spotlight. Rising star status. The next Michael Jackson. Maybe not, but you know what I mean. I don't know. All eyes on you. Pride, ego, recognition. This person sees you. They're just scared. How will I know if he really loves me or she? Probably because this person's probably told you. Clean up. Letting go of what no longer is serving you. Someone is clearing up the past. So they can let you know. You know? You know you know when you know. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. Sometimes I fuck it up. But, you know, it is what it is. I kind of feel like your person might feel that way. Like, I, think I, I fuck shit up sometimes. I probably fuck it up a lot. But... That's okay. It's called lessons. Happy home. Things going well. Happy content. Yes, yes, yes. Yay. Unraveling. Truths exposed. Falling apart. Okay. They see a happy home with you is what I feel, but I also feel that someone in this situation is like a pretender. Dun, dun, dun. They're pretending that everything's fucking copacetic. Like, oh, I got a happy life. Happy fucking whatever the fuck's going on for them. But the truth is, they're falling apart without you. This person loves you. They want to reach out. Seeking attention, planning to meet up. They really want to see you. Someone, if they're at a distance, might be planning a vacation. A vacation. They're lying. It's not a vacation. It's to come see you. Maybe they want to get away from a snake. <sighs> maybe they want to get away from a karmic. Or maybe there's a karmic who's planning a vacation. I don't want to put that there. This is going to ruin shit. This is going to ruin shit. 
Be gone, Karmic. This is better. Sparks. Chemistry, creativity, new passion. Yeah, you have a new passion. You have a new love because we got to get away from the past, people. And celebrate with the new. I'm having whiskey tonight, in case you couldn't tell. I'm a little over bubbly. It is what it is. You know, you gotta indulge every now and again. You know what I mean? I did everything I needed to do today, like I said. I almost passed out earlier before I even had anything. Like, it was really weird. I was in the kitchen doing all the dishes and I asked the kids if I can help me with a million times, but of course, nope. So I did my laundry, put all that crap away, did the dishes, um, made more food for Jackson. Um, also went shopping, called my sister and said, hey, had to pay her for that, but you know, whatever. Um, she took me to the store, took me to the post office too, the fuckers were closed. I was not very happy about that. I'm like, the one time I have a ride there, they're not in there because they're understaffed, but whatever. It is what it is. What's meant to be will be. My daughter's alarm is going off across the halls. driving me fucking crazy. It's going to distract the shit out of me. I'm just saying. So just be aware. Power. Powerless. The power struggle is real. <laughs> the power struggle is real. This is not a happy home. This is not a happy environment. Someone, either you or your love interest, whoever, they're pretending. Oh, I'm fucking happy. I'm good. I'm content. I'm fucking fine. I don't think they're fine. This person could be at the gym working out, burning off steam as well. Not necessarily. Maybe they're dancing in the basement like I was, you know? I was burning shit off. Anyways, the soul bond is sacred. This soul bond is sacred, not the. And they're figuring it out. And they're missing the shit out of you. Emma better get her ass in her room and turn that fucking thing off because, like... I'm about ready to get up and go do it for her. I know she's feeding the rats, but still. I made chicken broccoli alfredo stuffed shells for dinner, and it was delicious. My son slept through it, but, you know, that's is what it is. There's still some there for him. I don't know why I'm talking about that. It's hard to say goodbye. This person wants to reach out because they don't want to say goodbye to you. I already feel like there's a goodbye. There's no good in goodbye is what I just heard. There can be, depending on who you're saying goodbye to. Just saying. But this person doesn't want to say goodbye to you. They feel shitty. They made a poor judgment call. And I almost feel like this person is doing everything they possibly can to forget you, to not think about you. Too much to think about, yeah. Um, they're doing whatever they can to not look at you, think about you, whatever. What is that? The truth will set you free. Just fucking admit it. You have the hots for someone. Just admit it. They have the hots for you. You have the hots for them. Whatever. There's chemistry there. Someone just needs to admit it to themselves. And then they need to admit it to you. Not your typical love story. Ready to release the love block. Passion and desire is still alive. This person watch your ass. I'm just saying. Holy shit. Holy, holy moly. So, yeah. Yeah, but they're fucking... Pushing you away. Not for long, because they want to tell you they love you. They dream about you all the time. I don't know, you add, like, zest to their life. Like, there's just something wonderful about your energy that this person's like, holy crap, you know? They want to offer you love. I did see the tower in here, too. So, let's see. This person's just kind of hanging out, like... I don't see what's going on. I don't feel anything. Because look at him. He's like, I'm just fucking by myself. Doing my own thing. I don't see you. Nope, nope, I don't. But yes, I do. I don't. It's like a little kid. You can't see me. I can't see you. Grow the fuck up, basically. Stop hanging around unhealthy people. Someone needs to get out of a karmic situation more than likely. Holy crap, yes they do. We got the fucking devil here. Temptation is what I just heard. This person is so tempted by you, it's not even funny. They're tempted to walk away. They want to walk away from the fucking evil bitch that they're with or ass, whatever, you know? Someone might have looked at you 
as though you were the devil. You're the temptress. You know, you got rotten fruit. You're just tempting me. No, that's not the case. Because I kind of feel like, how's my ass look as I walk away, as I walk out the damn door? Like, you think I'm the fucking devil? Peace, bitch, you know? That's kind of what I'm feeling. Like, you know, you don't want to talk to me. If you think of me this way, fine. Somebody else won't. The King of Wands might not. Aries Leo Sag. We have Capricorn here and Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I don't know this person. Can be a little arrogant. They're attractive though. They're sexy, sexy. Just gonna say this king is sexy. This king has a lot of passion too. Sometimes he can be promiscuous. Like he's got the devilish women around. Like. But I feel like he's got love and passion in his heart. Like, you know, it's a facade. It's a facade. It's all for show. I'm cocky and arrogant, and I act this way. I act like my shit don't stink because I don't want to show feelings. But they got feelings. They got feelings. They got a lot of feelings for you. I don't know, he kind of looks, he looks like he's thinking, he or she, whatever, like, I don't want to watch you walk away, that's what I feel, that almost got me a little teary-eyed for a second, so maybe this one's getting a little sad about watching your ass walk away, although they do love looking at your ass, they just want it to turn back around, you know, seven of wands, this person's very guarded, they're ready to defend the connection, This to defend you. I want to fight against evil. I don't know, it's making me think of medieval castles and stuff, like the defense, like the weaponry that they had. Someone's making a decision to get out of their fucking head. None of these are reversed, but that one's reversed, so that's good. They don't want you to be confused. They don't want to be confused. They're not confused. person probably had to get out of a shit situation or get out of their head before they could come towards you anyways this person can't stop thinking about you but i feel like they wanted to they want to defend you your honor the connection because there are probably people that are calling you a hoe or a whore or whatever you know people say stupid crap something like that like how dare you say that about my love I shall kill you. Well, probably not literally, but you know what I mean. I will bite you with my words. Yeah, because I just saw the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords will bite you with her words, all right? She'll, she'll fucking... The Four of Pentacles. This person was holding back for a hot minute, just saying. They don't want to let go of you. They don't want to let go of this. Wow, two of them came out. Well, we got the Emperor. There's your Emperor. Empress, whatever. Male, female, doesn't matter. Six of Wands. I will win. I will be victorious. That's what I feel. The Emperor is staying very grounded. Like, all right. The Emperor is sending telepathic communications and stuff too. There's a spiritual message that was delivered to the Emperor from you to, to them, whatever. And they're delivering it back. Because look. The bird's got, whoop, where is it? How many balls are there? I'm in the wrong card. There's one inside of him <laughs> that was pulled out by the bird. It's like, I'm sending you this message. <laughs> what movie was that in? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, don't mind me. The, the ball, the crystal ball is in this person's hands. It's like, I successfully received the message. This is crystal clear to me now. Victory shall be ours. I don't know. It could be online communication as well. Moving towards commitment. That's fucking great. Add a freaking note. Wow, I'm keeping all of these. Hold on. Page of Swords. Someone's seeing something online. Chariot moving forward. Four of Wands. Commitment. 
Prince motherfucking Charming is like, you know, I'm tired. I don't really want to walk, but I love you enough to put your ass on the horse. So, you know, I'll let you take a break because, because that's what gentlemen do. They should just ride together. I'm just saying. I don't know why he seems so tired. Someone's probably been doing a lot of work on themselves. I don't know how I know that somebody's tired in a car. Don't ask. Tower, scorpionic energy. This is sudden. Sun, ten of cups. Probably with a Virgo hermit energy here. It's like, I can't stop thinking about you. Don't give up on me. I want to give to this. I've just been working on myself. That's what I feel. This person might want to have a family with you. That hurts for some reason. I don't really know why. Hmm. <laughs> Bounty, the quicker picker upper. This person's going to pick you up real quick. They're going to clean up the mess right quick because they got lots of love for you. Just look how happy they are. Like... That's going to upset somebody else, I'm just saying, because all of a sudden it hurts over here. But, you know, it is what it is. This person's taking fucking forever. This could be somebody else. Okay. There's two slow, two slow mofos. One of them is going to put some pep in their step. And the other one is going to have a close second, but you know, it is what it is. The Ten of Pentacles. So, all right. I'm telling you, the one who is hanging out going, I don't see this, I don't see it, whatever, you know, has been taking her sweet ass time, but they want to reconcile this transformation here, and this is very, very stable. So we have the Ten of Pentacles with one, and the Ten of Cups with another. But there's also stability here with the other because of the four of wands. So it's like one is stable and fulfilling and the other one's just stable. Like financially stable. This could be a past person, no matter what their sign is. Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person could be, maybe all they have to offer is money or stability or whatever. Or that's all it's about. But that's good enough. It's not good enough because you don't want that. You want fulfillment. You you want it all, you know? And this one's going to give it all to you, the Virgo. Yeah, because they fuck. Because they fucking love you because they fuck. Because <laughs> they love you. Secretly. Well, they got the Ten of Pentacles for you, too. They secretly love you. They want to talk to you. This could be a friend of yours. Holy shit. Wish fulfillment to start. They want to heal this. There could be a friendship that's healing as well. I want to celebrate your success is what I just heard, so I don't know what that's about. Some of you could be becoming successful. But then we have the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. It's like, I'm so confused. What the fuck do I do? That could be you. Maybe you're not confused right now, but you might be when all these people show up. Because I kind of feel like there's the past, and then there's like a twin flame and a soulmate. There's a few people here. Oh, yeah, because we have the King of Wands. We have this one who's coming in. We have... Yeah, which is the Emperor. King of Wands, Emperor, past. There's three motherfuckers here. What do I do? Holy shit. I think you already know. Because this is what you want. Right here. The one who has been taken forever. The wild horse who's not wild no more. Possibly. I don't know. It could be a friend of yours. Or an Aquarius. Hmm. Who's your who? Figure it out because there's a few coming in. Just saying. Who's your who? Oh. Fucking shit. That hurts so bad. Someone punched something. This is Gemini energy. I love you. That's what I want to say about... Hmm. It really hurts, like, really, really bad right here on the fuck you finger. Ew. 
don't know what that's about, but something looked like it flipped. Nope, it didn't. Maybe someone's gonna flip and they're gonna punch something. <sighs> Why do people get so pissy pants? I'm just saying, I don't know, I don't understand it. What's up with the devil? So anyways, how have you guys been? Hopefully well. I wanna listen to music so bad, but I can't monetize this if I do. Cause I would be sitting here singing the whole time. And you guys probably would be like, we gotta turn this shit off, it's horrible. The devil. Someone. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cause the devil has secrets, you know? The devil's a fucking liar. The devil is in the dark. Well, guess what? It came out with the fucking sunshine. So the truth is out. Who's the devil now? You know, it ain't you. It isn't this person. It was projection. Stupid hoodoo voodoo crap. Someone lied to someone. The truth is out. Like, oh my gosh, I thought you were a whore. But you're not. Surprise, surprise, you know? Be like, I told you I wasn't a whore. You didn't believe me? <laughs> I don't know. You probably didn't say that. You probably didn't even know that someone um, thought that or that someone said that about you. Yeah, this person wants to offer love now that you have turned your ass around. You're like, I'm walking away from the situation because, you know what, I know what serves me. And, you know, this was a good pond and I was going to bathe in it, but... You don't want to come in with me, so whoop, here I go. Secretly. You're walking away secretly. You might offer love to somebody else. But I kind of feel like this person is like, oh, I'm coming in. Shit, you're walking away. Am I going to have to keep on going? I hope not. Are you going to turn around? Well, we'll see, won't we? All depends on what this motherfucker has to say. Because someone was trying to control... The dynamic between the two of you. Like how things went. <coughs> how things unfolded. And that's just not how life is. It's just not. So what's up with the king? Wounded warrior. Yeah, this person was act acting arrogant. They're acting like an ass, basically. Male, female, doesn't matter. They were pretty guarded. But be it was due to pain. It's like they were acting like their shit don't stink. Like... I am King Shit of Turd Island, and I got all the ladies. I can do whatever I want. I don't really, I don't, I don't love anyone. I am the passionate type, you know. I'm happy with the way my life is, but no, they fucking aren't. They just so are not. They're probably dealing with conflict, you know. I don't know, there was an inner battle going on there that someone was unaware of. Maybe you are aware of it, but you didn't say it. Maybe you did say it, who knows. They didn't admit it, though. So, Seven of Wands. What's up with this? That, the Knight of Wands showed up there. This person wants to whoop someone's ass. Because it's like, don't you rush in on my person. That's kind of what I'm feeling. But you know what? He can't get mad if he ain't there. Sorry, my hair is just crazy. It's just crazy. Leapfrog. the past someone was defensive because of their past um there could have been like a karmic situation a soulmate or something where, or baby mama baby daddy because i kind of feel like there's children involved in the situation this person was very defensive they were probably standing up for the wrong fucking person for one but i kind of feel like oh i can't love you i can't move forward because you know i got shit to do but you know this Something ain't working out for that person, though. That person stabbed him in the back. He probably told him about it, too. Or they, they found out through tarot or spiritual whatevers because the high priestess is like, you know, you're working on a shit sandwich is what you're doing. You're building a sandwich with rotten meat. It's going to taste like crap. They ate it anyways and went, oh, now I don't feel good, you know? Someone's walking away from that now because they ate the sandwich and they realized that, oh, the high priestess was right. I shouldn't have eaten the rotten bologna, you know? Someone went after the rotten fruit. There's a sudden realization here. <laughs> the emperor's like, whoops, I ate the rotten peaches. My bad. They're the one with the pube in their mouth. 
you know? Happens to the best of us, I guess. But, I don't know. <laughs> I'm serious. I seriously just, oh God, why do I say this crap? I heard it in my head. It was like, <laughs> it's like eating a raw can of tuna. I don't even like a fresh can of tuna. It's fucking nasty. There's a sudden epiphany. I don't know. There's a breakdown in the situation. The emperor is probably telepathically sending you that message like, yep, my home situation sucks. Here you go. You're right. I like you, not them. Because, hope oh, you manifest your manifestations are coming in. Holy crap. You will be successful. I feel like whatever you said, whatever decision you made is coming, coming to fruition. Just saying. Or whoever. One of you person's trying to manifest you like out of nowhere like shit I ate the wrong fruit it's pretty much what I feel it happens what's up with the page of swords well the devil is watching someone but we're not keeping the devil because I don't want to deal with the devil so what is the page of swords there is a stalker here who's not fucking happy Ooh, but there's someone that loves you it will keep that who is watching you and they want to offer you love but this is a page energy so this person's like this is big love i don't know if i can handle big love but i do have big love for you but big love is scary so i'm just gonna sit back and watch they'll be successful if they actually say something and move forward they just need to give to the situation and a karmic cycle but this person might need to travel to you as well the chariot is Cancerian energy. I heard Pisces as well. So that is here. There's the duality. But look, these horses are running together. They're not, yeah, their heads are in different directions, but they're still running together. So it's like, we might be looking at different things, looking away from one another, but we're still moving forward. So it's really great. Holy shit, the chariot's there again. So you both are moving forward. You're both moving in the same direction. Someone is heavily watching you because they want to be with you. Oh, fucking hallelujah. Yes, they do. We have the Ten of Cups twice, which is awesome. The wait is over. I don't want to wait. I'm headed your fucking way. This person's driving to your house. I don't know. They're traveling because they want a relationship. They see abundance with you. They see it all with you. They really do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Wow. It's going to shock the crap out of you that this person's taking control. They're taking the lead. I thought I saw that somewhere. I don't know where the hell I saw it, but I, I remember it somewhere. Someone's knocking on the door now. What? Yeah, make it quick. Um, no, it's fine. The what? I don't know what you need. What are you talking about? I don't know. What's it for? Headache? No. Oh. Um. Breathing. And, um, dizziness and tiredness. I don't like that card. I shaved the mask. There's a liar, liar, pants on fire here. That's probably the tower energy here. Um, no, I don't have any. There's no medication for that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, I'm going to go to bed. All right. Well, I love you. And, I mean, we'll figure it out. I'll call the doctor, but you can't even tell me your symptoms. I so. don't know them, Mom. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain. And I can't, I don't know what it's called. Like... There's no words for it. It's just like how I'm feeling. Dizzy, tired, really tired. Well, those are symptoms. And like my stomach don't hurt, but it's just like, it's like I don't know. Okay. And I'm just like, it's, I'm shaky. I'm like, I can't breathe much. You're breathing fine because you're talking to me normal, so. But still. It's like when I walk, I can't. Okay. I don't know. I can't really 
explain it. All right, well, I'll make a doctor's appointment. Like I said, I already am trying to work it out with your aunt so she can bring us. I love you. Good night. I love her, but she's full of fucking shit. She just is. She lies all the time about that crap. <sighs> Sister R. Someone wants to stand up for this connection. Probably the Virgo. Someone did some soul searching. And they're letting, they're putting their pain behind them. And wanting to move forward and choosing you. Because this isn't a decision between two people. This is, I fucking choose you. Look, they love each other. I can't stop looking at you because you're the star you're the star of my show of my life is what that is no matter you know what you're doing but yeah i'm putting they were facing their pain and putting it behind them because they're looking at commitment now they really really want to say something this person is going to come in really quick yeah they want to apologize for probably ghosting you and not speaking to you for not moving shit forward sooner what the crap You knew this was coming. You knew it. You want to know what the secret is? Oh. You want to know what they... What's in the cup? What the fish has to say? This is coming in quick. Someone's going to punch something now. This knuckle hurts. How many people are going to hit shit? I'll just fucking do it already, you know? Don't get pissy pants with anyone else. You want to know what it is? It, it fell. It flipped out of my hand a few times. But guess what? The two of cups. It was like, oh, oh shit, I lost it. Oh, I think it's gone. Oh, oh, I can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I fucking can. Do, do, do. This person wants to throw away other options. <laughs> like, no. I do not want anybody else to fly into you. I don't want any other sneaky motherfuckers to come in and get you. No, 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 no. How do I know if he really loves me or she? When they come in and tell you, basically. Your intuition will tell you anyways, but you know for sure when the person actually communicates. Um, and if they never do, that's on them, not on you. And you can move forward because you have options. Like I said, there was three people. There's no beginnings here for you. I'm just saying. There really, really is. You're just working on yourself. You're just working on your coin, doing your thing. Doing what you need to do for you. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are moving forward. You're like, yep, I'm healing, working on myself, and I'm moving forward. Well, this person's coming in slowly. They're like trailing you they're right on your they're right on your tail you just you don't see it because you're just focused on your new beginning yep you just out of nowhere this commitment's coming in your emperor's coming in you want it all you're getting it all which is great meet me in the middle is what i just heard Success, success, victory, victory is yours. There are some karmic shit bags around, so just be aware, just be aware. I think I'm talking really low for some reason. I really don't know why I am. Maybe we got to keep something a little hush hush. I want to do something, but I don't know if I should. That's what someone's thinking. I want to do this, but I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should. Is it going to make a fucking mess? You know? Not your typical love story. Ready to release this love block. This person, they're teetering on it. Like, I know I need to release it and I want to because this is, like, unique. This is different. You don't get this. This kind of love just doesn't come around all the... Oh, it's right here. All the time. Social media got this person in trouble. They were probably dealing with somebody and saying shit they shouldn't have said to you, to somebody else, what have you. Not your typical love story. I'm gonna put this in my pocket. Hold on. I was like, what is that? I thought I saw that weed in my pocket. Not for me. I don't smoke. But 
I didn't mean to say that on here, but I don't really care, to be honest. Quick. Somebody's figuring something out really quick. Like, this isn't typical. This isn't... This isn't the usual. Like, I don't act like this for one is what I feel. Like, I don't know. This type of love doesn't come along. Doesn't come around every day. Your twin flame. I gotta act. I gotta do it. I gotta do this. I'm gonna do this. I gotta say something. This person could be writing you a letter. They could be going old school and just handwriting something. Email, text. Wow, I'm dizzy all of a sudden. Where the fuck did that come from? This is a whirlwind. Like, it's going to knock you off your fucking feet when this person actually says something. Because they've been very blocked and very rigid with communication. Because they're running out of time now. Oh my god, they love you. It's your fucking love. Holy shit. It is your lucky day. They're going to make an offer to you. That's what I feel like. They made an offer to the wrong person. Why did social media get this person in trouble? What's up with this? Or did it get you in trouble? Because someone's all, ho, oh, you fucking stupid mice, hackers. A hacker saw something. A hacker saw something. I kind of feel like your love interest is going to swoop in and kill the mice, the hackers. There's someone who was trying to figure something out and they were chipping away at a situation. Yeah, that just flashed at me. Like, I'm gonna nibble at this and nibble at that. There's a problematic person here. There could be a mutual friend, family member, something, ex, whatever, who was like fucking around on social media and messing with your shit or their shit or both. And I kind of feel like, because this is the number seven, the owl is like, I'm going to swoop while you're figuring shit out. Oh, this could be bad, too. I'm going to swoop. There's a different motherfucker here. This is someone else. There's three people, like I said. The past, a soulmate, and a twin flame. Your twin flame is like, holy shit, this is like, this is unreal. This this shit does not happen, you know? And they're, they're kind of blown away and trying to figure shit out. And they need to release a block really quick. Because as they're figuring crap out, because some stupid people are watching, hackers, whatever, they were watching, they are, I don't know, that was going to start turn, turning the tornado. Somebody else is swooping in on your person or on you. Like, you can sit here and think and figure shit out all you want. Whew, I'm taking your person. I'm taking the opportunity from you. Really fucking fast. Hmm. Could be a friend of yours. Could be a mutual friend. Someone you trust is going to turn on your ass. They're going to take your person from you. And you just have no idea. And this feminine is like, you know, thinking about the one she wants. Like, oh, I just want love in my life. I want everything to be fucking wonderful. Then the wrong one comes in. And she's probably going to be like, oh, well, you know, this is good. Because someone's finally messaging me. And it's... <laughs> Saying everything that I want to hear. Be careful with love bombing crap. You might not know who to trust when this is all said and done. Just gonna say. Because there's some sly muffos around. Just don't make quick decisions. Don't make quick decisions because the Goblin King is here. But don't confuse your ass. Someone's headed straight to the castle. Because this is like going round and round and round trying to get to the middle trying to get to the castle the gazebo whatever like i gotta go through the fucking maze of bullshit which your person was probably going through but somebody got the hedge trimmers or they're just like i got a fucking chainsaw fuck this <laughs> they're headed straight to the gazebo straight to you straight to the castle because this is the person you're supposed to be with yeah they're gonna say something because they know if they don't take this risk somebody else is gonna that's your wish and their wish. Just saying. Could have known this person since you were a child. Something like that. I'm going to get one of these right quick and then we're going to get the hell out of here. Oops, I got to put these back. Doo -doo -doo. 
soul mirroring, exposing and revealing. Oh, yeah, this person is totally observing every action. They're watching you like hardcore. Time is up. Whoops. So, they better hurry the fuck up. Just say it. It's your love story. Well, it could be if you want it to be. Just depends on who says what, who does what, you know? Alright, so just give me one of the, Don't flip crap around. I just want one, maybe two. These are hard to shuffle sometimes, but I do love these cards. I really do. I promise you this. This person wants to make a promise to you. It's like when they make a promise, they keep it. Holy shit. Someone is freeing themselves from a karmic situation. I feel like you just want your freedom. Like, that's what you're focused on. Like, I'm enjoying the moment. I'm single. I'm doing my thing, you know. I'm singing to Whitney Houston and dancing to Michael Jackson, you know. Like, whatever. You're 100% transparent. Like, there really isn't anything to hide with you is what I'm feeling. And this person knows that now because... They fell for an illusion. They fell for someone's bullshit. Somebody lied about you and they listened. And I don't think they're listening anymore, but guess what? Your person's floor in their ass to you. Like, all right, I'm speeding over. Whew, I'm nervous. It, things were initially probably moving too fast with them, but I feel like 